have dangerous fire weather conditions. We had to drive through the fire and jump the road. The Kincaid fire is not a single fire. It's many fires now, hundreds of them spread for miles. We got evacuated 11 days as far as climate change goes. It's affecting us a little more than most people. We've seen the effects right here with the Tubbs fire and the Kincaid fire. You are looking to vote for a climate candidate. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. This mural will hopefully be an inspiration for people to get out there and vote to address the climate change issue. The younger generation is watching. They're watching what we do. Tell us where we are. We are in um, the Sunrise Bay Area's permanent location and workspace. We do wear this and it's just a way for people to know about our strategy um, for 2020 and going forward. We've done a lot of organizing. Now it is time to vote. How big is 2020 for your movement? 2020 in relation to this this plan, this organized vote strike, is really the year that we win governing power. Sunrise is a movement that is made up of teenagers and 20-somethings who have watched our entire lives as the political establishment kicks the can down the road and fails to deliver on this issue. Our campaigning and our endorsing gives young people something to rally around. My roommates who are too they're very, you know, they're politically engaged, but, you know, I, I asked them if they were going to vote in the primaries and they were like, yes, 100 percent. Like, I'm registered, I'm ready to go. And I was like, whoa, I thought I was going to have to nag you guys. In a November 2019 Berkeley IGS poll, likely Democratic primary voters chose climate change as the top issue for the next president to address, with health care second. How long have you lived in Santa Rosa, Linda? Um, well, I've lived in Sonoma County for 20 years. Fortunately, we weren't in, right in the path of the flames, but we were evacuated along with the rest of West County from the Kincaid fire last year. And how do you feel about how the candidates are addressing climate change? I don't think any of them have done a really good job of it. So here's one example of a report card grading all the different candidates on their climate plans. This one's by Build the Movement 2020, and it looks at different factors, including a candidate's willingness to declare a climate crisis. You can see the grades are still pretty low, but here's what's really interesting. Bernie Sanders and Tom Steyer both get the same grades, even though they're often at opposite ends of the polls. Bernie Sanders leading it and Tom Steyer at the bottom. So it does seem like you can't win the Democratic nomination on the climate change issue alone, but you can lose support without a strong plan to address it. It's not a surprise to you that climate change is the number one issue for California voters, but you said this year it's it, there's something different about that answer. Right. It's because there's always been a lot of concern about protecting the environment in California. I think it's always been a top issue, but with the backdrop of what we're seeing with the fires and the drought, uh, it's becoming more commonplace. I think people are starting to expect that to occur, and that is affecting everybody in their day-to-day -day lives. So this is a little adventure getting out here. So we're in what looks like a broom closet, but what we're actually doing is heading up to the roof of this building on Mason Street so we can get um, a view of this Greta Thunberg mural, which is about 60 foot tall. The subject matter of the mural, I think, is pretty obvious. Uh, Greta Thunberg is the most inspiring activist working on climate change right now. And so when we were deciding who to put up there, she was a natural first choice. If you talk to any kid, it's incredible how they feel, you know, that, that gives them a voice. This is obviously a political act when you guys paid for this mural. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that's true. Um, I mean, what we're trying to do is part of it is, I mean, she has a very political message. We need to bring about change in the government policies that we have in place in order to address the climate change issue. Climate change is an existential issue, so we're hoping that people will be rational and will vote in a manner that helps address this issue. Can you get elected on the climate change issue only? I, I wish that were true, but I don't think it's possible, quite frankly. Um, the reality is that a lot of people are worrying about putting bread on the table and they have other more pressing issues in their immediate lives. If it has any major effect, it would be on turnout. And I think because climate change is such a vital issue to the younger voters and they, because the younger voters are not always the regular voters in a primary election. Now's the time to do something. And please vote. I've Please so many help. young people have a Which, chance to really change this election. The primaries matter. Oh. Feels good. Yeah. 
those are not gonna cut it. Shall we see if Sylvia's okay? Yeah, please. 